Welcome to PJ Chain Design. Today I would like to talk about this simple roller chain. Are you ready? Let's get started. A lot of time we don't 3D print the chain, but we use it a lot for the rendering purpose. Unless the chain link is super heavy, so you're gonna cast individually and assemble it together. So let's take a look on how to make this rollo chain. So I want to use the conic corners and snapping into the center right here and roughly about a five millimeter ish chain and I'll get something like this, nice and puffy. All right, and then we are going to do our cross section. And so we are going to making a copy and rotate it at the same time. And I'm going to scale it down a quarter of the size here and maybe 1D scale in the Y direction a little bit as well. And that's using the move command. We are going to move it here to here. So that way we have uh, the basic structure for our curve. Let's give it a try first. I'm going to use the sweep one rail. This is the rail, this is the cross section, and we get something like that. Okay. The second thing is we are going to give it a try by moving another link next to it. And I need to rotate it this one 90 degree like that. So the beauty of this one is because they can be nice and fat. As you can see, we do not have enough. Uh, we can actually fill in the whole things here. So I'm going to make them wider, something like this. That way it will fill in up the entire space. And I also wanted to 1D scale this um, cross section a little bit, like going just a little bit wider, a little bit fatter and close to the center of the uh, the shape there. Okay, so that's did it this one and did it this one. And let's re-sweep one more time. So we're gonna sweep one rail, cross section, and that's the second try that we get. And again, we wanna making a copy, control C, control V, and we wanna just rotate it 90 degree, and that's moving this one to here. Again, need to make sure that you still have room because it's the chain. And let me turn this into a red color so it's easier for you to compare. So this guy, it's going to falling in between the space here and you should have enough space to go here and here, right? If you have a way too tight, it won't work. But at the same time, I wanted to make sure that this is try to utilize the entire space so I may just want to get them just a little bit uh, bump it up to close to um, the, the edge of that space there okay so once everything is done let's do it one more time control C control V and then rotate it 90 degrees and we want to move it out and make sure that it is working there okay so now this is working we are going to draw a line for whichever it's going to be your bracelet. So I simply it's going to do something like this. All right. And then we can bring this one here and I want to move it toward to where I'm going to uh, array something like this. All right. So let's give it a try. I'm going to use the command It's under the transform. Then you have array along curve. So I pick up the object, both this and that enter and click on the base curve. Well, I don't know how many do I need it. So I'm just guessing 20 first and notice that the 20 is actually jamming into each other. So it's too many. And then we're going to do one more time. This time I want to try maybe 17. And we are really close. As you can see, it's still jamming a little bit. So we're going to do 16 over here. You can also use the distance in between if that works better for you. All right. So now we have all of this. Let's take a look on the perspective. And this is how we get this link. However, the link need to have the... Um, clasp for it. 
So I have a class uh, course on my website. You are more than welcome to check it out. Basically what it does is give you, uh, teach you how to make 11 different kind of a clasp. And then uh, they are ready made model for you to download and use directly. So you can bring in the clasp here and just size up to the proper size and attach them into the object. So right away you got uh, the clasps to use. If this is not the right size, you basically just need to do 3D scale up and place them into the right place. Then you will have uh, the object ready for your rendering. I hope you enjoy the video. Please let me know how you like it. And if you have other questions, that's for our demonstration today. I hope you enjoy. Please share my video. That way I can reach more people to learn right now. Thank you for watching. See you next.